<laughs> oh, there is. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's totally a guy in there. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. What a view I've got this morning looking down at the campground. So right now I am on a trail that comes up from our campground. The town of Mammoth is right up here on top of the hill and then the campground comes down the hill on the way to Girdner, Montana. There's a lot of campsites down here. And what's great about this place is that most of them, or if not, maybe even all of them are pull through sites. So this campground from what I've been told accommodates the largest of the rigs in all of the national park right down there is our campsite we're in site number 10 there are water spigots in between campsites so you and maybe like number 12 would be sharing you hear the elk there is no sewer no dump station here and that's something that the camp host told me that I would have to ask them about I don't remember now what they even said I'm assuming inside the town of Gardner might be a dump station we'll have to wait and see uh, but it's a very nice little campground and it's it's quiet there's a river down here the mountains just absolutely beautiful i've seen some elk but i'm just enjoying this morning so what i'm going to do now i'm just going for my morning walk like i usually do i'm just going to go down here i think it's going to take me over here to overlook the river and then it just takes me back to the highway and i'll be back to the campground today's going to be another epic day in yellowstone You want to go see some buffalo? Yeah, we want to see some bison. Buffalo. Bison. Buffalo. Bison. buffalo. bison. It's buffalo. We're in America. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you got me. Boom. You got me. I said it. Boom, chicka boom. Hey, whose side you on? Mine. <laughs> Actually, I. Sorry, Grady, but uh, yeah. buffalo. Buffalo. Bison. It's bison. It's Majority bison. rules. Oh, there is. I'm sorry. That's totally a guy in there. Yeah, we were laughing at the dog barking at us and didn't see the guy sitting in the back seat. We think this is the best place to come if you want to see the falls. We're at right at the brink where it goes over and it's just so much more powerful seeing, I think, here than what it would be like way, way over there. Although it's prettier over there, but I think it's just amazing to hear the water and to see it just falling down. It's incredible. And so Inspiration Point is all the way over there at my finger. And then there's another viewing area that is also right there. Okay, so it's 600 feet from the top down here to the bottom. I don't know how many switchbacks there are, but there's a lot. And if you're going to hike this, you probably better make sure that you're able to do it physically. Because what goes down must go back up. Chasing, chasing, chasing. Stay over here by mommy. This, this big buffalo here, he's like, this is my girl. And all the other ones are like, no, she's mine. He is, he's gonna go right in front of the jeep. Look at that. <laughs> I, I, I want to see him fight. That would be cool. They do not. Care that we are here. Oh no, not in the least. Why oh, I there was a baby. Look at all these Where's boys the baby, after sissy? one girl. Oh, there is a baby. Good eye, Layla Bell. Me and Sissy like the babies. Right by us, Chase. 
this and you have to wave at it. This is so cool. This is so cool. It's just amazing. They're just Stop. everywhere right now. Okay. Chasing Mom. the females. Mom. Yeah, I do. Don't you don't do it. This one up here looks pretty massive. He's just not going to move. <laughs> not going to move, is he? No, I don't want to get him. Hello. Hello. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Okay, I heard you. I get it. Well, get out of your way. <laughs> There's a grizzly bear right there. It's a grizzly. Guys, that is so cool. We're trying to tell these people, hey, there's a grizzly and you're out there on foot. Wow. Oh, that is so Right there, Jason. Thank you. He's by the river. Yeah. Can I get in the middle? No, no, nope, just stay there. Just look out Layla's window. You're perfectly fine. Yeah, but I'm seeing... Oh, he's yes. in the water, baby. Look at him. He's in the water. He's black. He's black. Oh, he's brown. Yeah. Yeah, he's brown. That is so yeah, awesome. I want to see him run after some people. Now he's coming our way. Sorry, I'm sorry. He is walking our way. Okay, so I'm gonna have to. No, he's. I know, but he's coming over here. Hey guys, stay in your seats. Do not get out. He's not a huge grizzly, but that's definitely a grizzly. Mm -hmm. oh, that's a bear cat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'll get out of your way just a second. That is amazing. <laughs> okay, okay, now chase and say it by yourself. That is amazing. <laughs> so seriously, I don't know if it could have been more perfect than that. To have the grizzly walk right in front of the car. It was so cool. And the setting was perfect. He crossed the river. You guys see them. It's a buffalo, but that was amazing. Yeah. Amazing. So now we've seen everything but a wolf. But yeah. a wolf. I want to see a wolf so bad. Yeah. Okay, hey guys, since we're driving a little bit faster, we need to buckle up now, okay? Okay. It's just a beautiful, beautiful night. I mean, a perfect yeah. night. I feel you, bro. I feel you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, Mom, stop. stop right here and nurse me now. I know. I know, guys. I know, Mama. It's the story of my life, too. This, too, shall pass. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.
I don't know about you guys, but my favorite part so far of all of Yellowstone Grizzly. has been tonight. Yeah. Just this drive in Lamar Valley, the Grizzly, all the buffalo. Beautiful. And I think having the buffalo in their prime, like in their mating season, mm -hmm. seeing how active they are, it is so cool. Like this guy right here, he's like, I'm gonna run over there and I'm gonna kick somebody's tail. Totally joking. Totally. No, you're not. Kind of. <laughs> hey, well, hey, when there's when there's hot water, bring take your razor. Of it. Bring your razor. Bring your uh, soap. I would if there wasn't other people. Yeah, they probably would frown yeah. upon that. It's okay, Jason. Come on. I didn't want to bring my big camera, so I'm shooting everything on my iPhone. But there's a uh, there's a thin line. Hot, hot somewhat like warm and then freezing cold. Me and Lane thought, hey, we'd come down and sit like in a hot yeah. tub and relax. It's not that way. That's not that way. But it's, it would be amazing. We would find a perfect spot if all the kids were out like crying and stuff. Right here. Right here. Right here. Did you find a good spot? Yeah, right here. Right there. Now right over there where that's coming out, Boiling. scalding hot. Like you don't even want to get your leg in there. Oh, yeah. Sissy, do you like it or no? No. No? I love this. No, yeah? Like it's really Brady's good. loving it. Jason, do you like it? Yeah. Yeah? Then why am I holding you? Because... Cold is super cold and the hot super hot. Yeah, like... Right here. Ow! So we didn't really know what to expect. We thought, you know, you'd come down, let the kids play in the creek. It'd be this warm pool. No. It's... It's either hot or it's cold, and you're right on the line. And sometimes you gotta find that line. Oh, oops, see, you just got a hot spot. Sometimes you gotta find that line and stay in it because a lot of people come and go, and you don't wanna get up out of your spot and then lose your spot. So hold on to your spot if you find that happy medium spot. If you find a happy medium location where the water is just right, you better just stay put. And coming on a crowded day probably would not be ideal. We're here on a Monday afternoon, and there's probably, I don't know, 50, 75, less than 100, I'd say, that's down here. But we've seen it on the weekends. We drive by, and we would see hundreds of people down here. And that would be miserable, in my opinion, because you'd be fighting for a location. And there's only a number, limited number of locations where you find that really nice spot. So find your spot. Keep your spot. Don't lose your spot. I, if I lived here, I'd never watch videos again in my lifetime. Why? It's just so relaxing and I do this every day. <laughs> I could build a rock house right there, jump out, and just come right in this spot right here. This amazing spot and just relax. It's so like, relaxing. And, it, and it's so strong that literally it can slow me. So a little tip as we've been watching people. What's a tip for what's a tip from you as we've been watching okay, people coming out? Sit right here and just watch people because it's <laughs> hilarious. They hit a hot spots and they're like, oh. uh, make sure you bring shoes. Because uh, you hit a hot spot, you want to get out of that as quickly as possible. Flip and quick. And these rocks are slippery. So make sure you wear shoes. Because we've seen a lot of people just walking really slowly because they don't have shoes on. Love it. Okay, what's your other tip? Okay, tip number two. Once you find the spot. Build you up a little rock chair. Sit back, relax, ring your bell. People will start bringing you drinks and food. Just like kidding. me? Yeah. That's my job. Yes. Why are you still sitting there? <laughs> it's not I found my spot. So you can see where people are coming in behind us. You can go quite a ways down that way, but with kids, 
I, I would just stick to simple. Well, because it's hard to walk. Like, so yeah. we're carrying the babies, and it's kind of dangerous. It's hard to walk. So you can go all the way down if you want to. Looks like, I mean, there's a lot of people down there, so they've definitely found decent spots. But for us, we're sticking up close to the entrance. And we got a good spot. Some people left, so we, we stole theirs. Oh, we took it. We didn't steal it. We took it. It's right for the opportunity. So can your nose tell the difference between the sulfur springs and yes. our gray water? Yes, it can. It can? In the beginning, I think it was sulfur, and then it turned into poop.